Hi there and welcome back to Loopy Mabel's Closet and my name is Jane and in today's video it's going to be what I actually got made in the month of October. If you remember my previous uh, vlog on my plans for October I was planning on making seven items and if you'd like to see what I actually got made then please stick with me. So what did I get made in the month of October? Did I get all seven made? No, I only got five made, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I probably would have got the seven made, but I had a few um, things going on at home. One of them was um, my one of my cats, Poppy, wasn't very well. So I had to take her backwards and forwards to the vets. And when she wasn't very well, I just couldn't concentrate on anything at all. I was just totally stressed about getting her better and my world's upside down really. So I just couldn't concentrate. I couldn't sit and do anything because I was just so worried about her all the time, watching her and seeing if she's okay. Anyway, thankfully she is absolutely fine now. 700 and odd pounds later at the vets. But anyway, she's, uh, she's fast asleep in her usual space place now so she's on the mend and the other reason was I had a couple of commissions on my crochet side and I had to get them out in time and one of them was going to America and the other one was going to Canada and they had to take priority so anyway they've gone they're winging their way or they'll probably be there by now so that was another reason I had to uh, prioritise there because obviously my crochet is my business so I had to get them done. So I'll show you the two that I didn't get made and then they will be on my next month's to-do list. Both of these fabrics are from the lovely Laura at Material Girl. I mean this daisy fabric is absolutely delicious. So that was going to be, or still is going to be made into my second Wilder gown. So there's a picture of the Wilder gown. And if I've got enough, I'm gonna do the full length version. If not, I'll do the, the second tier version. So that's gonna be on my next to-do list. And then my other one, which was this gorgeous floral print. I was going to do the Roscoe blouse. There's a quick picture of the Roscoe blouse. My second Roscoe blouse, because I absolutely love this pattern. And if I've got enough, I was going to do the one with the tear. If I haven't got enough, I was just going to do another blouse. So they're the two I didn't get done, but they will be on my next month's make. So watch out for that. So back to the five that I did get done. So we'll start off with what's on Mabel today. Mabel is wearing the French Dart by Maven Patterns. I'll put all the links for the patterns in the box below. I was drawn to it because of the collar detail. Absolutely love this like cowl neck rolled over neck detail. And it's something I wouldn't normally go for. I'm not a great lover of high necks or rolled necks or polo necks, but I am stretching myself a little bit this year. And I thought, let's try a different style. And it's got the two bust darts. It's quite a, more of a fitted shape, like a shift dress. And it is a bit creased because I was wearing it yesterday. And it's got the two um, darts at the back. And I made it in this gorgeous chambray with these gorgeous like cherry blossom flowers on and it's obviously also got pockets and I've got the gathered sleeves with a, like a binded edge and it was just a dream to make and I'll definitely be making it again and it's going to be a staple piece of my wardrobe. I had it on yesterday and I don't know if you follow me on Instagram but I mentioned I posted a picture of me wearing it on this Instagram and I will pop some pictures up as well so you can see me actually wearing it. But when I wore it yesterday, I went shopping with my mum and I was stopped twice in Marks and Spencers asking where I got this from. And I was really chuffed to say I didn't get it from anywhere I made it. 
and I got some really lovely uh, feedback and got into quite a bit of a conversation with one of the ladies um, who used to dress make and I've like inspired her to get a sewing machine back out and sew again so that was nice and my mum was going oh isn't she clever she's made this isn't it gorgeous and it was like oh it was lovely really nice so this is the French dart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little mini series of the Maven patterns because I've made actually three of them. So I'm going to do a little mini series and I'm going to go into more detail for each pattern in separate vlogs. So if you were thinking of maybe making the dress or you've never heard of Maven patterns before or you're not sure of the designs, I'm going to concentrate each make from them into a vlog and then if you were thinking about making it i'm going to show you what i did and what um, the techniques and how i put it together and everything and then i finished it off with my hand stitched hem which i thoroughly enjoy doing i like a little bit of hand stitching and love it so obviously this has got to go it's all a crease now it's got to go it's going to go in the wash so yeah so this is my french dart dress and i absolutely love 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 it especially that cowl neck detail actually when i was making it i was thinking oh what hope this fabric is going to hold for the collar and it just absolutely holds absolutely fine wore it all day and the collar as you can still see it has held its own so that's the french dart by maven patterns so number two on my makes was again maven patterns and this is the Maria apron that Mabel is wearing. And oh, what a fabulous pattern. This is just so me. I'll put some pictures again of me wearing it. And again, lots of compliments. My mum absolutely loved it. It reminded her of the aprons that my nana used to, what type of thing we used to wear over her. Um, like a best she used to wear best outfits and she'd pop like an apron on while she was um, pottering around the house and she just said oh that just reminds me of my nana and like and I just absolutely love it it's a proper apron so I went for version B there's two versions there's one that crosses over only slightly at the back and then version B where it crosses over and comes right the way around and ties and this is version B but as I said I will go into more detail in the specific vlog for each of these um, maven patterns uh, the only thing is when i made the apron i didn't have anything um, like i didn't have any ties properly to put for the ties so i just used a bit of my gross grain ribbon that i had in my haberdashery box so i'm not sure whether it will stay that that ribbon uh, but it's, it's fine for the minute and I use, this is a cotton linen effect that I got from, I think it was Lamazi Fabrics. And it irons like a dream, it washes like a dream. And I think the more I wash it and wear it, it's just going to look much better. I think it's going to get better and better with age. And as I say, this is version B. So it crosses over properly at the back. So the back flap goes right over and then the top flap sits on the top and then this section which you would think would flap open doesn't doesn't move um it's the way it's constructed because obviously the strap keeps keeps it from flapping open because obviously the straps on your body so it doesn't flap open and i just love that crisscross strap detail really lovely thick apron straps and the pockets look at the pockets a massive ginormous chunky pockets which I love the pockets and they like sit on the side seam and I'll just show you the other side and they're placed on a bit of an angle I love the colour it's not something I would normally go for again I'm stretching myself I'm trying different fabrics I'm trying different colours I'm trying different designs and then I'll, if I don't try them, I will never know whether I like them or whether they suit me. But so far, so good. I've liked everything I've made that is out of my comfort zone. And this is definitely going to be another make. So I've already got plans for fabric number two. And I'll probably show you that in the vlog on this apron. So that is the Maria apron again by Maven Patterns. And I just love it. It goes great with jeans. And obviously, because it's an apron, you can wear all different, different 
different types of tops underneath. I wore mine with a black uh, polo, well, with a black um, roll neck. And I've got some lovely fabrics. I'm gonna make some Freya tops by Tilly and the Buttons, and they're all gonna go mix and match great underneath that apron. So if you haven't tried an apron, this is a great one to start with. So that's the Maria apron. So number three in my mix was the Sew Me Something Amelia dress. And again, uh, I went for a plain colour and this is a linen cotton mix. The only thing with this fabric is it's horrendous to iron. I mean, I've ironed it and it's, I don't know whether you can see them. It's just, I could not get the creases out. So next time I wash it, I'm going to have to iron it when it's still damp, I think. I left, I ironed this when it was bone dry and it's just absolutely horrendous. But obviously it's got linen in it, but it's just, just doesn't look iron to me and the sleeves i'll show you the sleeves that whether you can see it's just i've ironed it and ironed it and ironed it and it still looks creased but anyway another lovely make and lovely deep pockets in this one it's like a um, pinny for smock type of dress turn it around and it's got the is it an inverted pleat at the back and then it's got um, top stitching detail. And I mean, look at the, can you see the creases? It's chasey, chasey time. So the cats are chasing around this morning. So there, I like the tie detail on the sleeves. I think it's quite unusual. and just gives it a little bit of a different look. And the front details got crosses over slightly. And then you've got this top stitching and then it's got the a pleat detail on the front so oh, it's a bit annoying the fabrics are going to annoy me uh, I'll well obviously wear it and um, maybe the more it gets creased the better it's going to look um, and obviously I wore mine with um, one of these stretch tops underneath and again you could wear it with a fine knit polo neck or you could wear it obviously with nothing underneath but in the winter which I'm going to wear it with my jeans again um, obviously I can just mix and match tops to go underneath. I'll make it again, but I will definitely think about the fabric. It might look nice in a, maybe a denim, a lightweight denim. But yeah, so that is the Amelia dress by Sew Me Something. So moving on to make number four. This is the Indigo dress by Tilly and the Buttons. And I think lots of people have already made this and I was not disappointed. I have saw some fabulous makes over on Instagram and I thought I've got to have a go. And in fact, it's my first Tilly in the Buttons make, can you believe? I've got all the Tilly in the Buttons books. I've got lots of her patterns, but I've just never got around to making any of them. So I thought, God, I can't be the, the only person that hasn't made one of her patterns. So I went for the Indigo dress and I used this fabulous viscose rayon floral that I got from Sew Me Sunshine. And what a dream to sew with. I thought it was going to be right, I thought it was going to be slip slidey and horrendous, but it wasn't. It was absolute dream to sew with. The only thing is I ran out of fabric to do the, um, the frill on the sleeve. So I wanged it a bit and turned the pattern, the fabric round. So the stripes are going that way instead of that way, but you wouldn't even notice. And it's a lovely, lovely make. I went for the full caboodle. So I did everything on the indigo dress, the frills on the, on the bodice, the frills on the sleeves. And I made mine probably about knee length. So I went for the dress and obviously it's got, again, it's got the pockets, great big massive deep pockets, which I absolutely love. And I'll just turn Mabel around and it's got such a lovely drape, this fabric. And I'll pop some pictures of me wearing it. And this dress, all the colours in it, like I said in the previous vlog, it picks up loads and loads of my crochet accessories that I wear in the winter. There's loads that goes with this dress. So it's an absolute dream to have in my wardrobe. And uh, I loved wearing it. And again, I got lots of compliments when I was out and about wearing it. 
and it goes absolutely lovely with my jeans and goes perfect with tights and boots and it's just a great make. Um, the only thing is I think the bust darts could have been a little bit higher up for me uh, but I'm not that clever that I can do a full bust adjustment yet but I will try that someday. Um, but yeah, they're a little bit low on me. They, were, they could have been a little bit higher on me but as you can see because this is me these are my measurements on Mabel and they are a little bit low can you see they come to them and they could have probably done with being up a little bit but it's not that noticeable and I went for size I think it was a size six yep yeah, I went for size six and it just fits like a dream so yeah, so that's the indigo dress. So if you've never made the indigo dress, it's well worth doing. And there's so many different options and variations you can go for. So you don't have to go full on frill. You can leave the frill off and just do the, the bodice attached to the skirt. And obviously you can go different lengths and you don't have to do the frill on the sleeve. So there's loads of options, which I'm gonna, obviously gonna try. And I've got a lovely, nice, lightweight check flannel that I'm gonna have a go at making again in that and hopefully that'll give it another different look. So that's the Tilly and the Buttons Indigo. And last but not least is this fifth make for October. And again, this is one of the Maven patterns and it is the Wendy Smock Top. And I used some fabulous we think me and Jay, I got this from Jay at the Fabric Edit, who she has a little fabric business on the side. She's also known as the Camden Stitch and she has a sale, a fabric sale with amazing fabrics and unbelievable cheap prices. So you must go and check her out on Instagram, the Fabric Edit. So I got this fabric and we're not sure, Jay wasn't quite sure what it was, but she thought it was a viscose twill and I'm thinking it probably is. And it's a fabulous colour scheme. It's got this gorgeous old gold background and dusky pinks and greens and off-white flowers. And the colours just drew me to it. So I've used this fabric. It's got a lovely drape for this pattern. And it was part of my swap share saw challenge. My partner, the lovely Amanda from Piketty Stitch, she sent me her little haberdashery items for me to incorporate into this top and I managed to get the buttons on and she sent me some pretty pink fabric which I lined the pocket with too. Lovely, yet again a lovely make and there's three different options you could go for with this top. You could have the bound neck just closed bound neck without any opening then there was a central opening with the tie there or the opening with the tie off to the left hand side as you're wearing it. So I went for that option for just for a change to see what it would look like and really pleased with it. Pattern instructions uh, tell you to gather this part of the pocket here so it's ruched in a little bit but I couldn't quite get my gathers to sit neatly because obviously I'd lined the pocket so it made it quite thick and the gathers were a little bit, um, didn't look too neat for me. So I've just left the pockets flat on this one and again it's a lovely length it just goes over past my bottom and um, just adjust it there so you can see the length fabulous drape and the lovely gather detail around the bound bound neck and the sleeves are like a three-quarter sleeve just come to just above my, an uh, my ankles just come just above my wrist and they are gathered with some elastic. So pretty gathered sleeve there. So yeah, and it's another really simple make and that's the Wendy smock top. But again, that will go in my Maven Patterns mini series and I'll do more detail on this make. So they are my five fabulous, I have to say, patterns that I chose. I'm really pleased with all five of them. Have you made any of these patterns that I've um, shown you today? If you have, what did you find? What fabrics do you use? I'd love to know. So yeah, I'm really pleased for October's makes and I would like to have got the seven done, but I think five's not bad. 
If you did like this video, please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber and you like what I do bring out my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then you'll never miss out on any videos and vlogs I bring out. So I've got lots more sewing plans ahead. So obviously follow me over on Instagram and I shall share little bits and pieces of what I've got planned. But until the next time, as I always say, please take care and happy sewing.